Hello and welcome to the JR's Gaming Podcast, where we talk about the rise of Nintendo and what this great gaming franchise has in store for us in the future of gaming, and of course, the country from which it was born, Japan. I'm your host, Judah Terry, uh, and I'm joined, as always, by my co-host and good friend, Rowan Fern. This is Season 2, Episode 25. Rowan Fern, how are you doing this week, my friend? How are you doing? It's good to be back on our old format. We're both just me and you doing this podcast. How have you been? What have you been doing? Uh, not much really. Mainly just been uh, playing Roblox yeah. and stuff with you. Oh yeah, yeah. This is, this is so funny. Pretty much, that's pretty much what mm. the week's been, to be fair. It has been. So, I mean, yeah, but, but yeah, like, that's yeah. what that's the first talk about really. The, the first, well, my only talk about is like getting back into Roblox because like. I mean, mm, I never thought I'd say this. I'm almost twenty years old, and I am actually playing Roblox again. <laughs> this is the thing, right? Most gamers listening to this would know that I. I've kind of made a small stand, and I was like, I, I've said this on my YouTube channel before, I said, I'm never going to play Roblox again. I was like, it's for five-year-olds. And, and, you know, the last time I had played Roblox was when I was, what, 13? And, like, right, so my girlfriend was, like, obsessed with Roblox, and she still is. She was like, give it a try. She's like, give it a try. Download it again. Give it a try. So I was like, all right, let me give it a try. Right. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? It's actually quite fun. And I think you can agree with me because me and you have been playing on it every day. <laughs> oh, mate. Um, yeah, funnily yeah. enough, I'm actually streaming today. Well, not like by the time it's, this goes out. Like, I was oh, yeah, what are you done? It'll be done. Like, uh, we're streaming like, uh, yeah, just Roblox with stream. Oh, Gunfight Arena, uh, Airplane oh, Simulator. That's an amazing game. But those are the two games that we really love that we play on it. <laughs> it's but every day. The thing, like, there are some, yeah. I have to agree, like a lot of Roblox games are like just mm. shit. But yeah. there are yeah. some good ones if you know where to look. That's the thing. If you know where to look, I mean, it depends because I, I like how it recommend the algorithm of Roblox that like, recommends a game. You're like, oh, that, that is quite fun. I mean, at the moment, yeah. I'm only playing two games on Roblox, and they're both really good. One is Gunfight Arena. It's got to be one of the best FPS games on Roblox. I mean, I, I'm into shooting. I love a bit of shooting games. I'm a PC gamer as well, so the PC graphics for shooting a game, I was like, fucking hell, this is actually pretty fun. And then me and you've been playing it. It's just so fun, man. I don't know. I never thought I'd be sitting here saying that. To be honest, but yeah, here we are it's sitting fun. here. It's fun. It's fun. The problem and, is, uh, we ran into yeah. a, we ran into a hacker the other night. Remember? Oh yeah. And he was like dressed. He was like dressed no, as fine, Roman Reigns, wasn't he? Roman Reigns. Yeah, he's just that's a, a Roman Reigns. That's the thing about Roblox. That's what I love about Roblox. You can literally change your avatar to anything you can think of. Like, I like my avatar. You, you, you know, yeah. you know, like my one of my avatars is um, the oh, alien no. version of. Can I say his name on here? Yeah, yeah, go on. Basically, the alien version. Well, I didn't, I didn't see it at first, but then I looked him up and I could see it. But basically, <laughs> it looks like the alien version of Osama, Osama bin, bin Laden. Oh fuck! So it's so funny because like you, you, we were playing an aeroplane simulator for God's sake, and you were your avatar looked exactly <laughs> like Osama bin Laden. And I was unlike, like, what are you uh, playing yeah, at? <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's the thing. Unlike him, I actually landed the plane. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, he actually landed it and didn't fly into the towers. Oh, oh no! I was like, imagine, imagine you're playing a plane simulator, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna. Oh, hang on a second. Is that Osama bin Laden walking around? I'll be like, right, you know what? I'm, I'm resigning. I'm not a pilot anymore. <laughs> if this thing goes up in flames. It's not my fault. I'm getting out of here now. Hang so on, you quickly. So if you were, if let's say you're a pilot, right? Yeah, yeah. It's your first day on the job, and right. like, you know, you get introduced to your co-pilot, and they, they go, all right, um, you know, we're yeah. almost about to take off. By the way, yeah. this is your co-pilot Osama bin Laden. He, 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 you know, he puts out his hand to shake your hand. He's like, "All right, mate, what would you I'm do?" I'm like, "I'm like, right. What are you doing? What are you doing here?" I said, we're, we're, "I said we're ten feet into the air already, and you're telling me this guy Osama bin Laden himself is still alive and he's in front of me." Yeah, that, I mean, right. that should shock you that he's alive because. I'll be dead. like, right. I'll be like, I kind of accept my fate. I'm like, right, okay, fucking hell, what are you gonna do to us? Right, what, what are you gonna do? What's your plan? He'd be like, right, yeah, we're flying into this building. I'm like, okay, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Like, you hijack. This is like a tragic thing as well. Yeah, but surely you just... can take him though. Like, if he tries to take the wheel, you can like, I mean, beat him up. To be fair, that's a good point. Like, I feel like it. Right. Let's just say you're in the situation. Right. Your plane is hijacked. The terrorists are holding you at gunpoint. Right. I think you've not got nothing. You've got nothing to lose because you're gonna die anyway if the plane yeah. crashes. So you might as well try and like get the gun try out of their hands. Him. Try and disarm yeah. him, and then just like beat the shit out of him. Oh yeah, I'd be like, right, Osama, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. I'd say, and I'm right, like, watch miss. I yeah, yeah. left, right hook, bang, like, and he'd be like, oh, and then I'd get a gun, bang, put it through oh his head. God. Then, then, then we're faced with another, we're faced with another problem, then, Ryan, aren't we? 
We, how do you fly a fucking plane, right? The pilots are dead. They're on the floor. Osama bin Laden, right? He's dead. The problem's done. The plane is plummeting towards a mountain. So you, so you were like, right? so you were like, yeah. So you're like, oh, well, I've saved, I've saved the plane. Meanwhile, it's like doing a nosedive into like Mount Fuji or whatever. Exactly. So you're like, exactly, yeah. So you're like, right, I've saved the, and it's over. So at least, at least I can go Love to heaven it. and be like, look, God, let me in heaven. I just saved it. I, I saved. Well, yeah. I didn't save actually. Never mind. But I, I tried. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean. But speaking yeah, I mean, of uh, yeah. flying, you, yes. in, I mean, I'm assuming in the game, failed your pilot's test. I failed my pilot test. I, well, this not is quite in real funny. life, by the way. Not in real yeah, life. I, I know, I did. I put that in the in the plan. I was like, let's try and make you guys think, like, what? But yeah, I am... I, um, this this one of the most popular playing games on Roblox. Right, Flight Simulator. I've been playing it for such a long time. And um, honestly, it's really good. Go and check it out if you've not seen it already. Um... But it's like got communities and pilots and Discord servers and things you can join. So I joined the main Discord server for this pilot flight simulator game, right? About yesterday, and you did as well, Rowan. And then uh, today, um, the one of the the developers or the main mods came and like hit me up, and they're like, "Oh, by the way, I um I saw you streaming our game," and I was like, "Oh." Because I stream, yeah. Oh, I've got to add into our audience here. I did stream the game Flight Simulator yesterday with you, Rowan. Go and check it out on my channel. It's in the link in the description. Very fun stream. Um, yeah. Uh, so he hit me up. He was like, you know, I, I'm, I'm wanting to start. I mean, he said I'm on TikTok. And he, he has a lot of followers. He was like, I'm on TikTok. I upload daily videos about this flight simulator game. He said I can get you into. Do you want to be? Do you want to become part of my Discord community? So I invited him in. And uh, he, well, he invited me in, and then I, I of course introduced myself to him anyway, and he's now in in our Discord server. So if you want to speak to him, guys, join the Discord server. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so he was like, right, he's like, right, you want to become a pilot, dear? You want to become? Because the thing in the game, if you become a pilot, you get perks, you get lots of money, you get exclusive planes, and if the game gets bigger in an update, you'll be upheld as a pilot in the in a team of pilots. So I was like, right, I want to become a pilot. I've been playing the game for quite some time with Hero, and you know. But I think me and you don't have any rules, do we? We just we just fly. We just we don't even follow the the guidelines. We just put the throttle down, and that's led to a lot of issues. Also, <laughs> I, my character kept needing a wee. Oh, that don't we don't want to talk about that. And then at it's the end, you needed me and Rowan. Two as well. <laughs> me and yeah, well, for the audience, they're like, "What the fuck are you on about?" Rowan here, he's he's a bit of a prankster. He's a bit annoying. When I'm playing, when I'm gaming with Rowan off camera, this guy, well, in the, flying a plane mid air, and he goes, "You know what? I need to take a wee." I'm like, Rowan, <laughs> this role yeah, play's going too far. Land the plane, I need a wee. I can't. So I had to it. land the plane, and then you start being a, in a twat because you're like, you know, I've got Rowan, I've got to go somewhere. And then you're in the role. This is all role play, by the way. This is just Rowan's idea of ro role yeah, play. Yeah, because you like you like part you like land the plane, and I like rush out and go behind some buildings to like do my business. <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, oh, hang on, hang on. He said the poo's coming out next. I was like, no, I got no, I got that was after you got back in the plane, and as you were taking off, I said, I think I need a number two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then on purposely, I like flew the plane stupidly. Yeah, yeah. And, and you didn't actually like that because I think we're getting both both of me and you, Ryan, in real life. We have big monitors, so you're yeah, just like trying yeah. to co-pilot <laughs> the entire thing is going all like this. I'm like, yeah. So yeah, I guess for the people listening, we've had a lot of fun this week playing a plane game. I I've always wanted to play a plane simulator, and now I'm on one. I'm like, it's fun. I love it's it. Fun, it's so. Though. It's yeah, really fun. It's it's not it's not as complicated as um, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh yeah. In that game, every key does something, and it's wow. Like it Too takes much. ages to get used to. This game's like just yeah. the basics. And you know what I love about it, Judah, what? is that you don't control the plane with mm. WS and D. You control it with the mouse, which is way yeah. more realistic because like that's how pilots like that just gives you way it more gives like, you a gear. to control. And, and you've got autopilot mode. You've got and also. You pointed this out to me, and so did the pilot. We're going to talk about the pilot test in a minute. The, you're supposed to, when you're flying an Airbus, Ryan, <clears throat> you always press uh, G to put in the wheels when you when you fly off yeah. the runway. You might, I don't know if you've been doing that, but you've got to like, put G in. You've got to put the wheels in. And you, yeah. when, as you're landing, you put G out to put the wheels out. All right? So you've got to put the wheels in and out as you land and, and decline. I failed the pilot test miserably, and I was working so hard, right? <laughs> so he, he's standing there recording, right? He's recording the test sent to the moderators so I can become part of this pilot team. And then oh, I'm in the plane. It. Yeah, he recorded it. He sent me the video back. It's like a proper thing. He's like, this is how you did. Right, this is what you did wrong. Um, anyway, so I was like, right. I felt I felt under pressure because I'm being watched. I'm, I need to, I'm getting my test my skills tested here. Right, so he's watching me. And then uh, I, I start flying the plane out. 
Yeah, and then I, then I then I I just did what I usually do. I I just went. I, I turned the plane. I went straight to the bottom of the runway. Then I drove onto the grass. Don't ask me why. I I, I was like, you I know do what? Because sometimes that happens when you can't slow the plane down. Yeah, it happens, but it shouldn't have been. It wasn't professional at all. Because then I was like, right, I'm gonna show him how to do this. Put down the throttle, full speed. The thing goes flying. You know, starts to speed. It's an Airbus, by the way. This is a big plane, right? I start going across this air, this air runway. I'm going down. Then I fly into the air, and then I do a stupid thing. I make it go like upward, like a rocket. I go. What is like? What the fuck is this guy doing? Uh, he thinks he, he's going to pass this, and I was I I couldn't look at the chat I, like in our Discord server. He was actually messaging me, put the brakes down, put the brakes down, like a driving test. He's like, you you got put the brakes down, so I already failed it. So I was yeah. flying into the sunset with my wheels out, <laughs> All right? And then I then I decided, you know what, I'm going to pass this test. So I, I plummet, nosedive straight back down on an Airbus, and then I just about land the plane. And I was like, right, how did I do? And he went, hmm. I was like, oh. I mean, the passengers would just be rolling around in their own vomit at that point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, I mean, listen, if you're doing any kind of test in life, and, you, and, and once you've finished it, you, you turn and look at the instructor and they go, hmm, it's never a good sign, is it? Right? No. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. What or, if they say, or if they say, well... If they start off with well, well, like that. That's yeah, and then and then, and then uh, yeah, and then he sent me a video of how to actually fly, which I'll send you later on, so you can see what happened. I've got the video of my flying, and then he compared it to. He's got a, a YouTube channel, and he's put of how to fly a plane properly, and I did everything wrong, right? So I flew the plane. He's, you're supposed to, be, you know, when this is taxing, you're supposed to tax the plane, right? I didn't even yeah. follow. Like, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, he, like, ta taxing means you've got to follow the road. You've got to follow the directions where it's telling you to go. As yeah, in, yeah, yeah. You know how the road, like, the, f the runway is, right? Yeah, so you have to tax yeah. the plane into the, the zone. Exactly. Yeah. You need to know exactly where you're going as well. I did I did not know this, right, because I'm a new player. I mean, he's very nice about it. But, like, I basically went into this experience and I, was, I felt, once I knew what I had done wrong, I felt so stupid because he's standing there. <laughs> About to expect my taxing seals, and I just go off into the grass. I'm like, oh, you know what? Fuck this! And I go like as into the grass, and he's like, he's he's probably sitting there being like, this guy thinks he's a pilot, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! And then here's the funny thing, I still I just I still got in. I don't know what happened. He was like, right? He said, out. so he said to me, he said to me this. He said, right, we're gonna. He said, practice today. He said, tomorrow morning we'll do a retest. So tomorrow morning, Ron, I've got a retest. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a scheduled pilot test with him in the morning, and then I'm gonna do it correct this time, and I'm gonna practice again after this episode goes out. Uh, well, um, you know, and then, of course, well, by the time this episode you're hearing this, it's already the weekend. So I would have I would have passed it or not failed it, whatever. But uh, yeah, but he sent it to the, the 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 pilot team, and they said he's in. So I, I don't know what the pilots are like. They're right, you know. It must have been like, oh, it's all right. Let him in then, because I've still managed to get into a pilot team, and now I'm part of the pilot team in the flight. So they let you in out of pity, basically. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like, I mean, I, I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't terrible. I don't think I flied it the best I could. Uh, but I, I, uh, you'll see what I mean when I send you the video later. But yeah, Ryan, uh, oh. failed the pilot test this week. Getting into Roblox. Uh, yeah, I mean. That's all that's been this week. I've been from gaming with you. I've I've been I've been turning into a uh, yeah one of them. But there's one, one more thing on your talk about. What's that one more thing? Oh no, I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why are you not looking forward to it? Right. Well, let's just say what's going on. I'm going camping next week. Lovely. Right. No. All right. I, listen. I I I I tell you what. I disagree with this. I'm I'm right behind camping. I love camping. Get the nice tent. Get a fire going, like it's nice. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's nice when the when you don't camp in the UK, right? The UK right now, it's the summer. It's the middle of the summer, and there's no heat. Yeah, That's I was, true. I was, we had, we had, I think yeah. we had all of our summer weather in one week. And yeah, we had all of our summer in one week. We had a nice big hot week, and now it's like you know in what? June as well. And now it's July. It's the middle of the summer. Now's the time when it's meant to be boiling hot, but instead it's like it's not been. It's cold. It's windy. Yeah, it's cloudy. It's, it's I, went, I went. I did some archery today. Yeah, and mate. And boy, were my arrows going wayward. I tell Ooh. you now, like every time, because it's a fit. Like you do it in like a, on like a proper like archery field. Yeah, it's yeah. Not the like wind an, it's not like indoors. It. So it's like out, so you're outside on this field. Right. The wind like blowing at like a hundred miles an hour, 
And bro, oh, my, no. my app, look, I was I, I was getting blown over. Like I was like at full draw, ready to take my shot, and the window just come and like just almost knocked me over. <laughs> Crazy. And that's <laughs> like I don't know, this July, mate. It's meant to be like boiling hot. I mean, they said it's freezing cold. Yeah, the oh, UK needs to have a, a system update. It really does. Yeah. It's Sudan broken. Sort it out. Starmer, sort it out. Whoever gets yeah. it. Farage, sort it out. Farage, any one of you. I mean, today, today was voting day, by the way. I don't think they're going to change the weather, hopefully. The UK is broken yeah, as it is. Change the, the UK is broken with their economics as it is. The UK's gone shit, right? And now, the UK's weather is broken as well. I mean, it's always been broken, but I'm not happy. I'm not having this, right? I, I, I'll i be honest. I like to complain about the heat. I like it. I'm like, you know what? It's really hot. I'm burning. I've not got a top on, but I like it. This is the summer, right? Me too. Me too. Yeah, no, this is... I, I've, I've got my fan on in my room, and I'm like, even though I'm actually boiling hot, like it's nice. At least it's at least it's like yeah. At least we're getting something that extreme for once that isn't cold and wet, All right? So it's like you know, and and Rowan even worse to make matters worse. We're not camping in the south of the UK. We're going north. Where? We're going to the north. We're going up to Yorkshire Dales. Yorkshire. Oh, so right before Scotland, but you got Scotland Lake District, and you got Yorkshire. So you're going on a holiday, basically. Yeah, for for three for two, <laughs> for two nights. I'm not looking forward to this. If my tent blows off, I'm like, I'm done. I'm I'm fucking done. I, if I'm sitting there and the tent starts to blow off, I'm done. Well, I'm well, getting. I'm know, going home. Like, I went to. I can't remember where it was, but I went to when I was like young. Um, mm. Me, uh, parents, sister, yeah. and nice. I think one of our friends came with us to yeah. this like camping. We went camping, right? But it was right. on like an actual campsite, so it was art. You put up your tent, but there's also like. Dozens and dozens of other people's tents, like around you, yeah, yeah. put up, and it was quite nice. Like you know, we had like a, it was a massive tent. There was like you know, space in there. There was like honestly yeah. as big as bigger than my room. The tent was so it was oh, really yeah. nice. There was like three, like there was like four pods that you could like sleep in. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. I like sleeping in tents. Like, but mm. I understand. I understand. Like, because are you camping in like like that, looking like, an actual campsite, or are you just gonna like stick it up in a field? Well, I guess it's like we're going up to the east coast of the UK, but in the west. We're going to the Jurassic, not the Jurassic coast. We're going somewhere where there's loads of like fossils or something, like really nice fossils, cliffs. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean that's all I know. I mean, but it's not just our family. We're going with a group of forty people, right? Ooh. Yeah, so it's a proper campsite. Tent? Right, that's that's why I wanted to talk about this, Ryan. I'm at, we've run, we've run into an issue with our tent. <laughs> okay. it's, it's already gone wrong. We've not even it's camping yet, and there's wrong. an issue. There's an issue. I'm You're quite not even right. Left yet. We've You're not even left, left the house, yet. right? And there's an issue, okay, right? Tell this us is what the issue is. So, uh, of course, I've got a family of four. I've got a, a sister and parents, right? And uh, we are going with 40 people. And those 40 people are friends of our family. So it's like a big family oh, friend right. gathering, right? I don't know any of these people, by the way. These are all my f Ooh. family's friends, right? Wait, wait, wait. One question before you carry on. Are they all going to be in one tent? <laughs> No, thankfully okay. that's not going to happen. <laughs> if that was happening, I'm like, right, you can all go. I'm staying here, okay? Um, anyway, so home. right, so there's this campsite, right? We've got the the, the entire group of you know, four, there's, there's a lot of events. We're going to go. Let me explain what's going on. So we've got this big campsite booked out in this, I guess, field, a bit countryside. So it's a proper campsite, nice. Proper campsite, yeah. But then, uh, so we we uh, so we got this tent from out. Well, my my dad's friend. We haven't actually got a tent. So my dad's friend went to his. Uh, my dad went to his friend and went, right, we need a big family tent with, like, you know, four rooms, please, because we want a nice mm. big, you know, we're a family of four, we want a nice wait. big tent. We're staying two nights, let's have a nice wait, big wait, tent. Wait, when did he say this? I think a few days ago to get the tent, right? So, so a few days ago, right, yeah. when you've already, when you've already <laughs> planned to go, he goes yeah. to someone and says, can, can you get me a tent? Yeah, I mean, because that's the thing we ate. I think it may have been before that, right? It, it was something going on with that. Because anyway, the friend was going to give us the tent to hire. Well, not hire, but they were going to let us borrow this tent. Right, so, so you then the friend. have a tent to begin with? No. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, so you know what I mean? Right, so this friend goes, right, yeah, of course, you can have our big family tent. So, uh, yeah, so... They say, I'll get you a tent. There you yeah, go. they get us a tent. That's it. Right, so yesterday, knock on the door. They come round with the tent. I'm like, what the fucking hell is What's this? What's wrong with it? It's massive, and it's not even... It's in a bag, right? It's in a bag. The bag is about two men long, right? It's about right, the size of a truck. And it comes... The two men haul it into the room. My mum's standing there gobsmacked, like, what is this? Is what is, is it a tent, or is it a house? All right? So we bring this, 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 this tent, a beast of a yeah. tent. It's all wrapped up in a big, you know, bag. And it's literally spewing out the bag. It's that big. So they have to stuff it in. And they just lob it down in the hallway. So right now in my house, if you go downstairs, there's a giant tent bag. 
in the way and Brilliant. you have to like you have to dive over it to get to the kitchen i'm like what is going on and then and then my dad you know he, he's, he goes and he's like he brings up our friends that we're camping with and he goes yeah we've, we've got a big tent we've got a big you know i think no it's actually seven room it's a seven room tent not a four room tent we've got a seven room tent bloody blah it's big massive uh you know enough for us to, to well stay. i don't get why you're complaining because like a big tent surely is that ah good. but that's the thing this is where it's going wrong let me get a call back from the campsite people saying no too big like, oh what? yeah so they're saying right the I'm tent's looking. too big mate too big and we're like what, big. what do you mean it's too big like what it's better it's better than big than small like, i'm all right i'm being dead ass with you Ryan. i'm not gonna sleep in a bag am i i want to sleep in a nice big room right i don't it want a little bag like, it sounds like your tent is like very similar to the tent i once camped in and they had no problem yeah. with it yeah, exactly but the campsite i've turned around and said right you need to have like four rooms it can't have seven rooms but it went I, too big wait too hang on, big. four rooms yeah hang on, wait what hang on no no dude wait so I have a question. Yeah, yeah. You say there's forty like friends of of the of the family going, correct? Mm. So about forty, yeah. So they've all got their own tents. They've all got their own tents. They've all got big their tents. own tents. Big right. family tents because they're families. So if yeah. you if you took this four room tent, would it be mm. enough to? Would it be enough? Because oh, no, yeah, no, 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 sorry. That. You've got you've got a seven room tent. They've said yeah. that's too big. You can only take a four room. Yeah, we've got a so seven room tent. So you've got. So you've got a, so what are you going to do? Well, Come this isn't the, the fault. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going to happen, right? They've turned around and said that tent's too big. But we're not, we've not got any other tent. Right? So my dad was like, right, we're going to have to pull a few strings. I'm like, what? Okay. All well, right. Literally, to set yeah. up the tent, pull a yeah, few well, strings. <laughs> oh, yeah. There'll be a lot more strings pulled than a few, bro, if we're getting that thing up and running. But then he, go, he goes he go to the, the head, for, the, the friend. Or my, me, it's my dad and someone else organising this big camp. Yeah. And they're like, right, you know what? They said, we're going to actually try and get in. We're going to try and persuade them. So right now, all I know is that right now, my dad's probably, <laughs> and and his friends are like running to these tent people, being like, right, let us have this giant tent, please. But like, what I don't understand, Rowan, is why is it too big? Like, iron, oh, it's got an extra room. No, fuck it out. You can't have it. You can't let it. It's too big. So What's it going to do? So you can go in with a four room tent, but if you go in with a five room, no. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, no, no, no five room. I mean, the only other option is we have a, we, have, we do have another tent. It's a five room room tent which you just said and that's also being lent to us but we went for the seven room tent because we have a lot more stuff to take with us because my dad's running we're running we're doing some like events we're going different places so my dad of course has a lot of luggage and he's put in some of the rooms because there's nothing else it's, it's literally just a middle of the nowhere bum fuck middle of nowhere countryside I was, uh, so wait he's he's just gonna try and persuade and what if they just refuse to budge then i have no clue what's gonna happen but well, I'm not... Yeah, well, I was going to say, what are you going to do? Chop off the side of it? Yeah, we're going to chop off, <laughs> saw off the side of the... No! <laughs> yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. And, you know, this has just put me off camping. And it's ridiculous, because then, uh, you know, my girlfriend, right, she's from Thailand, and she's like, look, she's like, we need to go camping. I'm like, no, because it's tropical rainforest over there. Right, so you can't win. You can't win, can you? Right? So, are you either going to go camping in a tropical rainforest in Bangkok, Thailand, where there's bugs, snakes, all that... Or I'm going to go to the north, windy, rainy of the UK in a bag because I can't sleep in a big tent. Rowan, save me now. I'm not hang used on, to hang this. On, hang on. So are you, I, I mean, I'm guessing if you can't persuade them, yeah. you're going to have to rush out and buy a four-room tent. Probably. So, or something like that. We're going to have to rush out and buy a tent and we've only got a couple of days left. I'm leaving on Monday morning, and this is going to be going out on Saturday. We're recording this on Thursday, so I've actually got, what, three days. We've got three days to get a tent. Um, on the topic of camping, remember when yeah. we went like with our school, like to camp we did. next to a graveyard? Well, that that, that was back in the day. When that, we, was like we a, went that was like that was like a four bed. That was like a was that like a four room tent. I think that was a one. Yeah, it was a four room tent. That was. But then, like we there, yeah. there, we like we took like the teachers like took off like the middle bit that separates them, so like you could fit three people in. Wait. I don't think it was a four room. I think it was like a five room. Yeah, because you had two, two, then you had no, one it was big me, room. You, yeah. Um, like the that like another person. Yeah, the other people, and then the other two yeah, it people. Was, no, it was me, you, and three other people. So yeah, it was five. Yeah, but yeah, it was a five, and then remember, and you, it was quite a nice tent because when you went in, there was a big space where you could put all your bags. Yeah. And then you actually had the compartment. Yeah, remember yeah. That? This was ages yeah. ago, by the way. Like. Yeah, yeah. I remember, remember that. This was ages. Yeah, we don't go to school anymore. We graduated ages ago. <laughs> 
Yeah, but like uh, it was. That, I don't know. I mean, shit. I can't lie. That was all. That was all right. That trip. That was that was okay. That was all right. But no, I woke up freezing. Though. I was like, B bloody hell. Yeah. Right. It, it, the, the, I remember that like, me and you, we we uh, me you and our friend, we it got really cold at night. So all like huddled up in our world trying to keep warm. And then when we woke up, it was boiling hot in the tent. You just can't win because it was. It was actually that was actually a good summer. It was actually hot that summer. Yeah. Um, we oh, were yeah. boiling hot. We were boiling hot in the because in the tent the tents turn into an oven in the daytime. They do. So you have to you, you can't win in a tent. You really can't. No. So yeah, but, well, uh, yeah. I'm going camping are, this week. Like, yeah. Camping Fucking stories. Hell. That's that's that time stamp. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, uh, well, camping stories will be next week's time still. The, oh you know, yeah, you'll be because they'll be. I'm, about. I'm, su I'm assuming yeah. there'll be a lot to complain about when you get back. To oh yeah, there. you'll hear a proper British rant when I get back from my camping, yeah. bro. I bet you. I yeah. bet you. The first thing I'm going to play about is the weather as well. I'll be like, oh, it's windy. And here's the thing, Ryan. I'm. I'm not very optimistic, right? I need to apologise to my order. I'm not a very optimistic person. I'm a classic Brit. I moan. I moan yeah, like no too. tomorrow. Yeah. Actually, think... we've. I've, we've. I've, I've. I've booked a holiday as well. You booked a holiday. Where are you going? Um, Whitby. It's a similar place Ooh. to to Devon. I'm pretty sure. It's like a. It's like near it. Oh. Um, near this, near this, near the sea. But it's a, but instead yeah. of a, instead of a tent, instead of a bag, it's a nice holiday home. Fuck off. So you get to go to the south of the UK, where it's nice and sunny, yeah. nice much, little pretty cottage. Much what you, pretty much what you would want. Basically. So yeah. So while I'm up, while I'm up at the north, chasing my tent that's blown off. <laughs> yeah, that's pegging down, a... pegging down a, a four bedroom tent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. I don't even know what to do. Right. This is another fear I have. We're up there in Yorkshire. It's going to be windy, right? What if I blow what if I wake up and there's no tent? I'm like, oh, shit. Where did the tent? <laughs> just, oh, there it is. Bed, just in the middle of the field. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, there it is flying seven kilometers down. A, right. You know, if, I told that's you. That's why this you before. need to peg it down properly. Exactly. And that's what I mean. If I don't, if we don't peg the tent down properly and something goes should wrong we, like that, I'm leaving. Play like a, I'm walking home. To get I I say to get you prepared. Should we play like a camping game on Roblox? <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I doubt that's going to be anything like the real experience. But go on then. <laughs> camping simulator. <laughs> camping simulator. I'll be like, right. This is what I'm expecting, right? Then I'll go to the real camp and like, shit, Roblox got it wrong. Yeah, because well, like Roblox, you can't feel the wind in Roblox. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, you're, sitting, I mean, you're in we, the comfort I mean, of your room. Oh, I mean, if you have, so if much. you have, if you if you get winds like we've got today while you're camping, your tent might be a goner. Exactly, and it's the joy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the the joy of the joy of games is you can be like, oh shit, I've crashed the plane. Yeah, you know, yesterday, um, me and you were playing that plane game, and you fell out the plane while you were flying it. I was the so, co-pilot. Yeah, but so did you as well. Yeah, I had to, I had to eject right. So I'm just I'm just, I'm co-pilot. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? the pilot's gone. Like you, you're like, and then you screaming over the mic. I've I've jumped out. I jumped out. I was like, well, that's not good, is it? And well, then your airbus was plummeting towards the sea. So what yeah, well, my point? Is... Yeah. yeah, well, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. Well, like, if you don't, if you don't know that the controls, like the space bar, is like to just get out your seat, right? And yeah. sometimes like, I'm really bad for like accidentally pressing like the space bar because <laughs> I've got my bad. thumb over it like all the time. Well, pretty yeah. much all the time. So like I didn't even mean to press space, and my thumb just like went on it, and I just like kept, got out the plane, I and know. I just saw it in the distance, like just like plummeting to the ground. <laughs> like while you were no, in yeah, it. yeah. It was a funny clip because I was being the co-pilot. I get like a first-person view of the of the front plane cockpit, and then I was just like, "Oh, nice." To what? The pilot's just gone. Like the, there's an empty like, space in your chair, and the imagine plane is that's what, flying imagine towards that's what, the. Imagine that's what we sent to the guy who's doing the pilot test. Oh, uh, I'm gonna put that on clips. I'll see what people say yeah. to that. I mean, here's yeah. the funny thing about that, right? Um, I guess what my point was originally, the whole gaming thing, you can respawn in a game, right? You can be like, oh shit, crashed the plane, oh shit, got in by a dinosaur, oh shit, didn't have done this, yeah, done yeah. this, done that. You can just press respawn, right? In real life, there's no respawn option, is there, right? So if so, I get... Yeah, so, right, oh, the plane, the tent blew up, let's respawn. <laughs> the tent blows off, you're fucked. Yeah. Oh, the you just need to buy off. a new tent, 99 Robux. <laughs> oh my god. Right, you know, I've told you this before. I live nowhere near the north. I live near the south with you. So if I end up, if, my, I've said this before, if my tent blows off, I'm walking back home. I'm being serious. I'm going to walk all the way back home. From it's Yorkshire than... to Leicester. Yeah, yeah. I'm walking all the way from Yorkshire to Leicestershire. Right, that's it. Fuck this. I can't believe it. It's funny. It's funny. Like, you're going, like, I mean, I'm not going, I'm not going till October to that holiday, mm. by the way. But mm. I can't believe, like, you're going up, like, you know, up north, Yorkshire, yeah. like, in a tent in the, like, British wind. 
sleeping in yep. like a sleeping bag, and I'm going to be in like a holiday home, like down south. Yeah, a lovely, nice time. I've seen pictures of it as well. It looks like so nice as well. Oh yeah, I mean we are going somewhere nice at least in the south. We're going to South End next week for yeah, one south day. South End's good, yeah. Yeah. We're wait, going so to you're south going end. from? Wait, so when are you going to Yorkshire then? Going to Yorkshire on Monday and coming back on Wednesday. Wait, so are you going to go to Yorkshire, stay there overnight, and then go to South End? Oh no! So I'm going to Yorkshire on Monday. We're gonna the full camp championships the entire week, but we've decided to do half of the week, so we're going home on Wednesday. You're gonna get like good. a mini bus to like take everyone. I think something like that's happened. No, no, I think it's all just cars. We're all gonna go in their cars, but like I'm gonna we're gonna go back home, obviously. Right, and okay. then that's that that's that Sunday next Sunday. So I will have a week off, so I might stream a bit. I don't know. Uh, I might then I have that Sunday coming up. On Sunday I'm traveling to Kent, and I'm staying overnight in Kent. And then from Kent, I'm going to South End the next day. And then from South End, I'm coming back to my house. So, a lot of travelling. Yeah. South End. I want to go South End one day. Anyway. Basically Essex, but Essex Coast. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Anyway, um, yes. I think uh, that's the uh, whole camping fiasco. Uh, yeah, that's not done. Until, until that's next it. week, or I don't know when, when you come back. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if we get to man manage to get an episode in next yeah. week, you'll hear the well, antics when, Whenever you camping. come back, though, you'll have a lot of stories to tell, I'm guessing. A lot. Hopefully, anyway, not. hopefully um, the good should ones. To, should we get into some Nintendo news today? Yeah, let's uh, let's leave the camping fiasco and get yeah. into Nintendo yeah, news. Yeah, I'll, I'll say we sh I'd say we should leave the camping fiasco for a bit. <laughs> yes. So, Mister Fun, right. what's what's in our what's in our All right, so the first, first news. news story of the day is Nintendo runs out of replacement parts for Wii U ends repair service in Japan. Hmm. Right, let's read. Last year in May, Nintendo's Japanese support service revealed it would be ending repairs for the Wii U when its current parts inventory ran out. Now in an update just over a year later on its website, it's announced the service for the system originally released in 2012 has officially ended. Here's a rough translation explaining on how it's run out of the replacement parts necessary to repair consoles. With the company now no longer accepting repairs this week as 3rd of July 2024, this includes Wii U peripherals. You can see on Nintendo's website, official website that the many other systems it's no longer accepting repairs for which covers its past generation products mm. wow so yeah so if you so you can no longer get your wii u fixed all right yeah so if you throw your wii u into your mum's head break it why, why is that the first th why is that the first <laughs> thing that came to your mind you throw it against your mum's head well it, it happens I, Look, I, feel, I feel like you should be more worried about your mum like your mum getting a concussion than your wii u breaking at that point I mean, look, it depends what you value more, your mum or your Wii U, right? So, would, you, what, would you value the Wii U more? <laughs> I, I mean, look, I think I would check if the Wii U is okay, and then I'll check if first, it's okay. First, first. I, I, good, point, good point. Right, I'll say, mum, you're right. Yep, she's fine. She's not breathing, but that's fine. Go to the Wii U, check. Oh, right, it's broken. Go to Nintendo. Then, there you go. Oh, for goodness nope. sake, mum, you broke my Wii U. Your head broke my Wii U. <laughs> well, I like. I mean, I would like to say that this is the reason of people. Too many people throwing their Wii U's into their walls because they're playing bowling. But no, this isn't the reason. The reason why this is happening is because um, Nintendo are. They've just stopped their services for the 3DS, the Wii, and the Wii U. And I, I'm honestly surprised, Rowan, that they still. They were still like accepting. Pairs for Wii U to be fixed. Yeah, in 2023. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know they were still like fixing the consoles. I thought they completely no, they, I abandoned. Think, yeah, I think the in America they did. They stopped, but Japan has only just ended fixes for Wii U. So up until recently, you can you could have got your Wii U fix in Japan, which is crazy because yeah. like I mean I feel like if crazy. I've got a Wii U in the conservatory, it's like sat there bone idle, which like I rarely <laughs> ever use. And I feel like if I if I like turn it on, it it broke it broke. I'd just be like, oh, okay. I mean I'm not I'm not gonna go through the effort to get it fixed because I just there's no point yeah I mean to, in today's day and age all the Wii U games you can play on an emulator on, uh, yeah or, or most Wii U games are actually were ported to the Nintendo Switch like Mario Kart 8 Mario mm. Bros Deluxe mm. we're seeing a lot of uh, 3DS games come to the Switch as well like it's really nice because still no you know, thought... life come on Nintendo yeah. still no time that you laugh still want to make myself everyone wants game. it everyone wants that to come back by the way Oh yeah, I I think you know Tom and actually life on the Nintendo Switch is going to be ace. But imagine like, that Tom and actually life on the Switch in HD, like like really nice new textures. remastered. Because, because the thing new is, is that I love uh, I love Tom and actually life 
on the 3DS, yeah. but the pixels like are like very visible. However, if you had it on the Switch, mate, it would be like so nice, honestly. Oh, it would be so much better. And um, also, think about that. that Tom and actually Life came out like back in 20, uh, like 14 or something. Like it was so old, and like we've advanced a lot of our. It deserves yeah. a remaster, definitely. Oh yeah, like a new entire game, like a bigger island, more options. I mean, they better. Bought, like, Look they at bought, AI. Like, we can put AI into our Mii's and like make them so much more intelligent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like Metopia got ported to the Switch, didn't it? Did it? Really? Oh no, I think they made a a different Metopia, like Metopia Two. Did I'm they? Right. Hang on, let me have a look. Me Get, have a Google. Metopia. Yeah. Switch. Have, a, have a little look. <clears throat> yeah, the original ones on Switch. Yeah. Yeah, and and, and they also ported Luigi's Dark Moon, which is your one of your favourites, isn't it? Yeah. You play it. And that's so, Tom and Actually Life deserves a remaster, honestly. I mean, I'm so confused because, like, I've I've noticed like, like the biggest 3DS games. I mean, Luigi's Mansion is one of the biggest yet they've put on there, and is uh, but they're not. They've not done some of the very biggest names out there. They've done Monster Hunter Stories. That's the latest one. Monster Hunter Stories. They ported that to the Switch, which is yeah. awesome. I'm a massive fan, as you know. You can now play it on the Switch. But they've not done um, Animal Crossing New Leaf. They haven't put that on the Switch. They've not done Pokemon Moon or Pokemon Sun. They've not put that on the Switch yet. They've not put Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Switch. This uh, and of course they haven't put. Tom that you laugh on the Switch, nor Yokai Watch. There's so much games out there that did really well and with about, the 3DS. Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I think that that that, mm. they, that would benefit them putting that on the Switch because oh the yeah, state, the state of Pokemon now, like Scarlet and Violet, the amount of bugs that are in it is like oh well. I I I actually am going to counter out what you're saying there, Mister Fern. I have Pokemon uh, Scarlet and I I've got it. I've almost I've almost beaten the game, and uh, I must say, I was surprised pleasantly surprised it's not as bad as they say at all there's no bugs i've not experienced a single glitch apart from two right and they're not even that bad the first what glitch i experienced right so if you go to the pokedex and it is it's livable it's not that much bad when you click on a pokemon it takes about one second or two second delay to load so you click on it one two the pokemon loads up so there's a two second delay on the Pokedex. When you're scrolling through, it's a bit annoying. One, two, appear. One, two, yeah, appear. Yeah, I mean, that's two seconds out of your life, just like that. Yeah, I mean, that is, that is a, yeah, it's not the best. And then the second delay is when you're in the sea, swimming around, your character goes slightly slower, so it slightly lags. And that's all I've experienced. Everything else has been smooth, amazing, very good for a Pokemon game. I've never experienced anything bad. I'm honestly surprised that it's getting so much hate. I've not seen it. It's way better than Arceus. Don't get me wrong, Arceus is a shit show. But this is actually... They've tried and they've fixed a lot of the issues. So I do know what you mean, but they, they it could be better, right? Graphics are still not as good as Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. But I, I think I mean, it's yeah, got a lot of bad like press. Yeah, Breath of the Wild yeah. and Tears of the Kingdom, why can't they make Pokemon games look like those games? Exactly. Considering they probably have a bit more money than the Legend of Zelda company anyway. So that's the thing. I mean, I hope like I don't know what the next like. I mean, wait. Do we know the next Pokemon game is another Legends game, which is hopefully. Oh way yeah. Better. I mean, hopefully it it brings the. Hopefully it repairs the Legends title because obviously we yeah. know Legends is Legends Arceus and Arceus is absolute wank splat. So. <laughs> wank splat. That is. I mean, I think um, they really have reduced their options down because they're doing it all in Luminous City, aren't they? With and by this, the way, like yeah. I don't. About the Arceus thing, I know like we say that a lot, but like I don't just mm. say it like to say it. I, I generally like don't. It's Arceus is generally not for me. Like I've seen it, like, honestly, mm. like, honestly, I know like the story, the story weirds me out. The graphics like re like proper bad. Like the stuff. Oh, like, the things I've actually yeah, in. and and also like the the Pokemon, like the the fact that they're all like all like after you and stuff. Like I know it's a lot based on a game about lore, but like it's just mm. not, not for me. Yeah, Pokemon, even so, yeah, not like... Pokemon lore isn't for you, is it? I guess that's just it. I mean, it's not. I feel like it'd be nice to know if it's. I don't like. I. I don't. I don't know if I'm entirely happy about the fact that they're making lore games. You don't. You don't. I like. Not. I like I mean, lore I, I to mean, remain law. I don't like it being said, made into a game. That's just me. I said that. I said that in the answers about. I said laws to be speculated by fans, not served to them on a plate. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh, the Alistair yeah, I mean, is true. It's lovely. true, really. It's, it's a very true. true point. It's a very true point. I don't like lore games, and that's my take. It's my opinion. Agree with it or not, I just don't like them. So, therefore, the Legends games, 
I'm not very happy with them. But therefore, I, I'm still going to give it a try, uh, Luminosity. Okay. Cause, I mean, Luminosity, not, not Arceus, Luminos, the new one coming out. The reason why is because Luminosity has a special place in my heart because I played that on Pokemon Y when I was younger. It's like a nostalgic place for me. So seeing that city in higher definition is going to make me a bit more interested. Well, yeah, that's a positive, yeah. I mean, I hope it's better than Arceus anyway. I hope they repair it. Like, I hope they, oh, yeah. they like, fix the damage that Arceus caused, because that game was... Shit. Dark, honestly. But, um, yeah, back to, like, the, the Wii U. Our final mm. thoughts on the Wii U. Getting, uh, you know, yeah. you no longer have your Wii U repaired. I mean, it's probably not the, a big deal, like, that they've stopped, because, like, there's not many people who, like... I mean, but hang on, I say that, but there probably is a large minority of pe people of people who still play the Wii U. That's what we're not. Rem that's what we're not remembering. Yeah, there, like, there is there is a minority. Yeah, the, the 3DS, and there's probably still people who play the Wii U. Yeah, the I Wii mean U is, the Wii U, even though it, it did really badly, still is a good console in my opinion. I know people that play the Wii. Uh, it's more of a family thing. They get it out of family time. If they don't have a Switch, they have a Wii. And those people being in their thirties, right? I know a few people in their thirties and they play the Wii just because that's what they grew up with. They're not getting the Switch, uh, but. Yeah, I think the minority of people that play the Wii U and it breaks, it's going to be an issue for them. But in the grand scheme of things, Nintendo have kind of killed the Wii U and the Wii off anyway, along and with the 3DS. 3DS. So, yeah, yeah. so there's no... I'm like, you know, I'm not that bothered anymore about it. Like, they, they, I've all, I'm not like... I'm not like, oh no, this is bad. Because I've already had that moment when they shut down everything for the Wii U anyway. So it's just like, oh yeah... That's kind of interesting that they still had it open for all this time. I didn't even know. But now now they've just alliterated that. Yeah. It's a bit sad. I mean, yeah. I mean, it just proves the point that they really don't care about the Wii U or the Wii anymore. They're really trying to make it a fossil rather than a console. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I mean, you do realise like... now it's going to be a lot harder to repair your Wii U, Wii, whatever it is. Because that it's means, fair, you know... Like, my Wii U, like, still works. It's just a bit dusty, right? But, yeah. like, let's say, like, someone, like... Wii U breaks, they're now going to be forced to like <laughs> scout eBay and like pay, you know, like I always say, Bob in his basement over the odds for a Wii U because it's retro. It's probably reached that retro like mm. stage. But like the thing is, is that like I could probably sell my Wii U and get like, you know, some good money for it, but I'm you not going to do it because it's. Wait a bit. Wait a bit longer. Yeah, but it brings, back, mem it brings back memories as well because it was like. Yeah, I got, yeah. What was, it was like, yeah, I got it like in 2014, I think, a Wii U. Mm. I got one, and it was it, like, like I said, even though it doesn't, it didn't do well. Like it didn't sell. It's like the worst thing. It was like the worst, like for Nintendo, like money wise. But in my mm. opinion, it, it still like was a brilliant console. It has some great games on it. Ones that are like on the Switch now. You probably feel like that's the thing. I feel like yeah. the Wii U. Like I feel like for the Wii U was sort of like the start, sort of like the what started off the Nintendo Switch. It was like the one. It yeah. Was, like, it was. The, they were playing around with it. They're like, all right. They put yeah. this out. You know what we could do with that. I mean. Also, I think, just in general, um, I've got to say now, the, the point just left my head. But yeah, I mean, Wii U was OG back in the day, just like the 3DS was. And, uh, I mean, sorry, I remember what I was going to say now. The, Ninten the Nintendo 2DS that I own has so much memories tied to it. Um, and the issue is that's actually breaking now. There's issues with my Nintendo 2DS, so Wait, I don't play it. you told me that. Just, you have to like, have yeah. the charger in. Yeah, actual. the charger won't work. Yeah, you have to have it. It keeps turning off, so that's broken. The battery needs changing. The battery's way too short, right? It just t lasts How long does less it last? than 20 minutes. 20 minutes? The whole thing? Yeah. That's my, my, my 3DS XL like, lasts like hours on like no. charge. If you leave it on, it will go right down in 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah, I, mean, I, think you can get, I think you can get replacement batteries. I can, I can but that's the thing I don't... I'm just kind of scared, because this is a nostalgic thing for me. I'm like, you know, I don't want to change it too much and get it modified too much just to keep yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's really it's really kind of hard. I mean, I'm never going to sell it. I just don't think I'm ever going to sell that console, just because it's me literally... Too. It was my first sort of look. I, I really wish I had my Nintendo DS Lite still. I don't know you where don't that's... That. No, I think I threw it away. I'm like, because I've, when I was... still got my... DS Lite, I think. I think I threw it away. Um, Wait, what was at, that DS that you said your, your sister yeah. broke the hinges? Yeah, that's it. The Nintendo DS. The that normal Nintendo okay. DS. 
the little first ever thing. And and when it broke, we got rid of it. So but when when it broke back in like twenty twelve, twenty four, yeah, back then the DS was still pretty interesting and people oh, used the DS. So it wasn't, but now it's so like nostalgic. I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah, I can't lie. The DS, like, because I, I got a three DS like later on in my childhood, but the DS Lite, gosh, it was like a life save were doing like long car journeys like anywhere oh, anywhere yeah. i could go in the car i'd be like oh, i'll take my ds yeah everywhere. same here like, i mean also I the everywhere. um I, I forgot i've always i've never really spoken about this on the podcast or before ever i keep alliterating that it started my love for nintendo started with nintendo ds but it didn't yeah me too it I started, my, my it, love yeah. started with uh, nintendo ds Lite because my, my sister had mm. one and I, I wanted one so i got one then i mm. then i moved then i like moved on to the wii and mm. then from then on, it was just like up and up and up, honestly. Well, no, I've, I can up you on this one. I started with the Nintendo 64. This is what I don't tell people. When I was about eight years old, I was bought a Nintendo 64 back in 2008, I think. Oh, or something I, like that. But you weren't alive when it released because it released in 1995. Yeah, but I was given, Nintendo six, I was given a Nintendo 64. Uh, when I was a very young boy, like I've talked, you're talking eight years old, seven years old, by my uncle, he bought me a Nintendo 64, and I used to play that every day. Super Mario, I used to play Punch Man, Bomber Man, all the little, you know, pixel games. Right. Um, well. The, the, yeah. So I started on the Nintendo 64, like most people in their 30s did, and I'm now I'm almost 20 years old, so I'm not gen, I'm not that generation, but. I, I started with the OG. I started with the Nintendo 64. And I've still got my Nintendo 64. It's upstairs. It's in the loft. It's somewhere in a box. And it probably would go for a lot of well, money if I sold it. Well, hear this then. Um, my, what's it? My my grandma, or my mum, or my, no, sorry, not on my mum's side, on my dad's side. Yeah, yeah. Gave me a Game Boy. An original Game Boy. And when was this? Ages. No, I mean she like passed away like in 2018. I mean so that's sick, bro. Right? That is that is sick. Ago. But Nintendo 64 yeah, it used still be, beats it. Be her. It used to be hers. So she gave it to me, and I was like, I oh, had so much fun. I was, I, I was playing Tetris. I'm pretty sure on it. That's so you know, fun. But you know, you know what's weird about the original game? But I've still got it somewhere. I don't. I can't remember where. But yeah, it's weird. You know the screen on mm. the Game Boy? It's not like obviously it's not like an LED or, like screen. It's like it uses like you have to use it in like a a, a, a bright area. You can't play it in the dark. I think it's no. like powered by like solar panels or something. But like there's this like yeah. little switch on the side that like turns up the brightness and all it does is it, it like makes enhances the, screen, the pixels. Yeah. No, it makes the screen like uh more visible or less visible. That's all it does. That yeah. was their idea. But it was it was it was like really like it was interesting to go back to the Game Boy. We were so easy to please when we were little, weren't we? I think yeah. about it now. I'm really hard to please now. Like you could buy me. I've got so many games. I've got a literal gaming PC. If I was eight years old and I had my RTX 4060 gaming PC and all these games, I'd be over the moon. I'd be like, right, I'm set for yeah, life. But in a way, it's good but, that you didn't. Cause that's yeah, like, exactly. But yeah. right now, I'm old. I'm like, you know what? I'm just. I'm just not easily pleased anymore. It's really annoying. Because when I was little, I was so easily pleased. Like, you could buy me a calculator, and I'd be like, right, this is electronic, me I love too, it. Me too. Yeah, exactly. So when when I was young, right, a Nintendo DS now doesn't excite me as much as it did when I was little. So when I was little, I'd get that Nintendo... I'd be playing on it for hours, and I just wish... I wish I could go back to that time, because now, it's like, you know, I'm older, I'm almost an adult. I've got so much stuff at my hand and to grab. I've got my own money, I've got, I can like, I can buy things I want. Uh, but with maturity just comes a sense of boringness. You just don't get easily pleased. And it's just, it's kind of like a sad thing, I guess. So, if you're a child listening to this, which I don't know if there yeah, are I children. Found, I found that to be enjoy like, when, I, uh, um, when I was a kid, like when I was a kid, mm. I saw like a bunch of people like playing on their gaming pcs like pc games and stuff and i was like oh i wish i could play them because like i don't have a i don't mm. have a good pc to play them you know i was you know I'm, i i don't want to play these games that all these people are playing so yeah. but like this year when i got like a a big upgrade on my pc that like can run most games like really well yeah. I like um i got these games um you know and i, I modded them as well because that was what i always wanted to do i always wanted to use mods in games but i played on consoles, you study so code so you're the um, man of the business. So I couldn't... Yeah, so as a kid, I couldn't use mods because I played on console. So mm. now, in, this year, I've downloaded a load of games that I used to want to, used to want a mod, modded mm. them, and I was like, 
wow, that's really not as good as people made it seem. Oh, and I, I, it didn't it didn't satisfy yeah, yeah. me. So I was like, so I got what I wanted eventually, and it mm. and it, it wasn't as good as I imagined. So I, and it's... I think that's similar to what you've just said. Yeah, we're not easily satisfied as humans. We we big something up. And then it starts. Like, yeah, we make we think that's we like, never that's get like satisfied. Um, we? That's like something with G. I think that's what's going to happen with GTA Six. People are like bigging it up and stuff, like thinking, oh, the like hype GTA is bigger than is going to be like, we, yeah. you know, they're 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 building it up to be this great game. And I think yeah. whatever Rockstar puts out, people are going to be like, oh, that's not as good as I thought it would be. Just like the KSI and Tommy Fury fight, that was so yeah. hyped up. No, but think, that was the, that most was the most rubbish fight I've ever seen. Match. I think it was the most hyped YouTube boxing match. Of, oh yeah, yeah, and it was the most shit as well. So I'm like, well, <laughs> mate. I watched the fight. I know you didn't watch the fights before. I watched the whole thing, the whole night. You did. Like, I watched all the fights. Yeah. But the thing is, is that the 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 two fights that were meant to be the best turned out to be the worst. The two main events. I was Dylan in London Dan- as Logan, well. Logan Paul but, Dylan, yeah. Logan Paul Dylan Dennis, KSI Tommy Fury were going to be these two fights that were the best fights. Dylan Dennis just went there to troll, right? He did. He just did. He was just messed about, right? He just sta- he and then stood KSI there. and Tommy Fury were just like. Come on, mate, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, the... they were so bad what they were doing. They didn't know oh, what they were God. doing. I mean, it was just the worst. I mean, Tommy Fury fought so poorly. So did KSI. He let me down. Tommy Fury oh. let me down. Because on paper, you, 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 we were thinking, like, oh, yeah, Tommy Fury's going to rip his head off. Yeah. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm surprised with well, KSI, right? You've got a chance. Tommy Fury's being a dick. Beat him up. But KSI, what's wrong with you? KSI you just, just did... did star jumps. <laughs> He did a documentary. Like, he put so much money into winning this fight, and he lost it all. And he, then he threw a massive tantrum on stage, because he lost. Yeah. Which Sorry is, about, I, found yeah. Really ch- I found really childish, by the way. The way you okay, like, so a big child, though, isn't he? I think he is a man-child, really. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care if he, if he hears this. I, that's he what won't. I think of him. He if he does, if he does, I don't care, Kai, so I sort yeah, yourself like, out, mate. Come on, if you're listening to this, come on the show, and I'll debate you. <laughs> about how you didn't win, about how you didn't win that fight because you keep saying you won it. Yeah, Get it out of your head. You Get didn't win that head. fight. You did not win the fight. You heard you it. Appealed it. He appealed it. He appealed the fight as well, like five times, and it, it got rejected. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it was just, no, that's the worst. And now yeah, Tyson Tommy and Jack. Tommy Fury, yeah. Oh yeah. T- oh wait, it's Tyson. Yeah, Titans fighting again, isn't it? Yeah, Tyson. No, Tyson's fighting. Mike Tyson's fighting. Jack isn't. Uh, Jack, sorry. Oh yeah, no, Mike no. Tyson. Oh, you know, that yeah. got postponed as well. Yeah, it was supposed to happen this month, but it's not. Not anymore. It's like yeah. pushed to November, I think, which is bad. I don't I, think I, it's I'm excited happen. to see. I'm excited to see that fight if it happens. Yeah. If it happens. But yeah, I mean, anyway, let's move on to story yeah. number two. What's going on in that st- story, story number two? Story number two. Okay. Anyway, this is yeah. a very weird story. So this story says Zelda fan jailed for carrying small master sword replica. What? Wow. Let's read this. Okay, first. interesting. In the Legend of Zelda franchise, finding and carrying the legendary Master Sword is perhaps one of the most important tasks you will need to accomplish to defeat evil and save the land of Hy- Hyrule or Hyrule? Hyrule, Hyrule. Hyrule. For one individual, however, carrying a replica Master Sword around in real life has led to a rather unfortunate jail sentence. Bloody As hell. covered by Eurogamer, a man named Anthony Bray from Nuneaton, England, oh. was caught with a six inch replica of the Master Sword while wandering about in public. According to Bray, it was intended to be used as a fidget toy. However, a wrestling officer stated that it was, in fact, a sharply pointed item which could be used as a weapon and might put others in fear of it being used against them. <laughs> Bray was apparently adamant that the sword wouldn't be used to cause harm toward, towards others, but acknowledged that it could be perceived as a potential threat. He has now been sentenced to a four-month jail term and will need to pay victims subcharge of £154. Sergeant Spellman of the Patrol Investigations Unit concluded the case by stating, We take zero tolerance to bladed articles in public, and Bray has fallen afoul of this. It is possible to find fidget toys that aren't six-inch blades. It is possible not to walk down the street holding them out in front of you. So take this as a bit of a warning. If you happen to own a replica of the Master Sword, regardless of its size, maybe keep it indoors away from others. (sighs) Wow, this is the most... British as well. (laughs) It's, it's, It's in Britain as well. Which is, yeah, well... What are the police doing, right? The police so someone, should be catching so drug someone... dealers and they're like, six... oh, he's carrying Legend of Zelda sword. He wait, might... wait, 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 wait. Six... Uh. He was carrying a six-inch master sword. That's tar- what, That's like, how... What? That's, that's, that's not even... Like, they made it seem like he was like carrying this big sword. That's that's not even sword size. That's like a mini yeah. sword. I've got a friend who has, like, 
I'm not going to say his name, but he has machetes and zombie knives. He collects yeah. them. And they're properly, like, massive swords. that Does he have, can... like, a, like, a katana as well? That oh, yeah, he's got katanas, he's got all the swords, blades, knives, machetes. He collects them, by the way. He doesn't use them. He keeps them indoors. Uh, but if he's walking around with that, yes, then that's what I understand, right? You're walking around with a literal th human sword. Yeah, but, that... yeah, but, but this like, is okay. this is like a what? Yeah, but I get I get that it's like I get that it's like okay, even six inches. Some knives are six inches, right? But it's plastic, surely. Or it's what like, I mean, it's, or it's, it's, it's a replica. So what? So I, if I get a Minecraft sword and walk down the road, I'm like, right, stop right there. That could be dangerous. Uh, You're no, gonna go to the jail for four months. But that's blocked. Okay. Apparently, this actually looked like it was a sharp object. I don't. I don't know. I'm shocked at is this, the the penalty he's got for this. I like a fine. He's got a okay, a warning. Sentence four a months in prison. pound fine. I mean, I think the fine's bad enough. Oh man, the prison but doesn't the make prison. any sense. But the prison. What? Right. So what you do? Oh, he get he gets into the prison. You got all these big rowdy criminals with their tattoos on their necks and everything. They're like, all right, mate, what are you doing here? And he's like, what are you in oh, for? Oh, I carried oh, a replica of a Zelda Master Sword. Yeah, I, I was carrying a, a a toy from Zelda. He's the one's. He's probably gonna get packed in jail. Like, he's yeah, really gonna get, yeah. get bullied. What have you done? Oh, I murdered my mum. What have you done? Oh, I, oh yeah, I did something awful. Oh, what have you done? Oh, yeah, I just carried a, a Legend of Zelda sword. <laughs> like that. What it the get, flip yeah. are you doing in prison, mate? Oh, I don't. I feel sorry for this man. He, I just don't feel sorry to for him. To be fair, though, what was yeah. he doing carrying a master? I mean, what was he trying to do? Was he trying to pretend he was Zelda? Cosplay? Cosplay? Yeah, no, he probably Cosplay. had to go. No, in, but he yeah. wasn't wearing a Zelda That's, outfit. I don't think. No, he, he, no, Link. You mean? Oh yeah, Link. Sorry, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He was probably trying to find. He was trying to save Zelda. That's what he was trying to do. <laughs> Zelda. What his yes. mum? Yeah, Zelda. She's. A... <laughs> I don't know. It's all a, a bit British, stupid. It's a British link going to save, going to save his. Oh, maybe it was. Uh... Uh, Wait, I'm trying I mean, to think, I think... Of the scenario. Like, what? What? what, what plus, why was there a? Pol Where was he? He walked past the police station with a, a replica of a Zelda master. The police are like, oh, quick, yeah, put the lights on for this one. He's gonna, he's gonna. That's the thing. He's as well, gonna so defeat us. Country, why are we wasting resources on that? When there's actual yeah. criminals running riot. Like... What I don't get is the fact that, like, you know, we have Matt on the podcast. He loses his phone and his wallet and gets drugged. And the police and won't like, find oh, that. We can't do anything, we can't about, do anything about this. But you can go and tell someone off for carrying a toothpick. What's going on? Right? Actually, What's going on? Deadly, but, like, this, this, is, this, is, this doesn't even seem like it was, like... It's a, a replica. It's a it says here, it says it's a replica particularly. Like, it's not actually a real sharp sword. Of course it be the sword. actual sword. Yeah, so, and it's six inches. That's not that long, right? That's not yeah. that big. Six inches is about, it's, not, it's fairly, you know, toy sized. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i getting scared because I've got a katana that's seven inches long. It's a proper sharp replica katana. Oh, yeah, don't carry that about. I mean, yeah, but it's, I think it's a sheath and you unsheath it and you can spin it around. Like, yeah, but I don't. I've not walked around with it. But that's you actually can't like... You can't unsheath the weapon. What? Because you're not high, you're not high enough level. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I need to level up, down. But yeah, I don't know, Ryan. This is just nuts. It's bonkers. What's going? Yeah. What is? I'm getting. I'm losing hope commiserations, in our country. Commiserations to that guy. But like, I, I don't understand why. Why are you wasting police? Why are we? Why are we wasting police time? Like messing about with a guy carrying a, a Legend of Zelda toy. I don't know. It's like I don't think he's ever going to be a Legend of Zelda fan again now after this. He went to prison. No, he's going to be. He's going to make a video saying like how Legend of Zelda ruined my life. Yeah, <laughs> like how cosplay is shit. <laughs> what yeah. is? The... Oh, I mean, this oh. is bad. Oh, oh gosh. Anyway, um, well, what's next? that's story number two. The third and final story of the day right. is another another Nintendo. Nintendo is back at it again. Nintendo back is continuing again. to clamp down on Switch piracy this week by filing two brand new lawsuits. Yes, they are. Of course they are. Right, That's what they're read. best at doing. The first of these targets, Modded Hardware, a group that has been on Nintendo's radar for a few months, and with a name like that, you can imagine why, run by Ryan Daly, a.k.a. Homebrew Homie. Apparently, Modded Hardware had built up a reputation for selling fully modded Switch consoles. Ooh. Mm, memory very bad card business. And that... Wait. Fully modded Switch consoles, memory card, and memory cards that enabled pirated downloads and other modding services. According to Torrent Freak, Nintendo threatened to sue daily earlier this year, resulting in an agreement where modded hardware would cease sales. The deal was obviously not upheld, leading to Nintendo's lawsuit, where the company claims that Daily's continued services caused substantial and irreparable harm. 
The fines against modded hardware could potentially extend to millions of dollars as Nintendo hopes to recoup damages. But that's not all from the world of Nintendo lawsuits this week. Torrent Freak also reports that the Big N has opened a case against Archbox, James, James Archbox, Archbox Williams, the lead moderator of the r slash Switch Pirates subreddit, which has amassed almost 190,000 members. Nintendo's legal claim connects Williams to several pirate shops offering massive libraries of pirated Nintendo Switch games. The filing also accuses Williams of encouraging piracy via the subreddit, where he was offering technical advice and encouragement to other users about how to use the pirate shops. What's more, the Nint Nintendo claims that Williams knew he was committing an act of piracy. Uh, quote, defendant is well aware that his conduct is unlawful and infringes Nintendo's intellectual property rights. The filing suggests, indeed, defendant has bragged publicly that he is a pirate who isn't going to give Nintendo $50 for a game. Torrent Freak has shared copies of the complaints against modded hardware and Archbox, and we will be keeping an eye out for the results of each. Of course, these filings are just the latest in Nintendo's clampdown on Switch piracy. Earlier this year, the creators of the Switch emulator Yuzu Tropic Haze agreed to pay $2.4 million in damages just a week after Nintendo filed a lawsuit against them. This is very juicy news. This it is. is. It's, it's big. So, it, so um... let's get this right. So th we've got some actual, like quotes from the court so nintendo said defendant is well aware that his conduct is unlawful and infringes nintendo's intellectual property rights mm. so well so they're suing, they're suing two they're suing two people who they i mean it sounds like just let me just like say something before you obviously say your thoughts yeah, yeah. it sounds to me like these guys mm -hmm. are like are like sort of bragging that they're that they are doing something wrong at least the second guy who's like selling Switch, or like the guy who's selling Switch consoles, the modded Switch consoles, obviously that's what he's following in Gary Bowser's footsteps there, and that's not going to end well. Right? I mean, have we not learned from Gary yeah. Bowser's situation? I mean, he, I mean, surely he's aware <laughs> of that situation. I'm surprised. So why is he doing the same thing? And plus, the next, the, the other guy said, um, Nintendo said, like, about the other guy, the defendant has bragged publicly that he is a pirate who isn't going to give Nintendo $50 for a game. So they're both, like, saying, oh, yeah, we pirate Ooh. games, we're pirates. So that's a, I, th I honestly think, I mean, I think Nintendo's being, a, like, pretty fair here. I oh, mean, not, I mean, like, Nintendo I mean... are a company. They're shit, okay? When I say they're shit, they're, they're, very, they're very powerful, as in they have lots of money, and they're known for being brutal when it comes to, you know, protecting their games. So any acts of illegal activity against them should be done with the greatest of careful measure, because you know for a fact if you get caught, you're getting done. Because Gary, like what these Gary, guys, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to say I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, if they if they follow, you know, if they do the same thing to these guys, they did to Gary Bowser. Obviously, that's messed up. That's out of order. I mean, however, I'm surprised that they aren't getting the same treatment. They seem however, to be actually just kind of bragging. They're like, you know what, <laughs> I'm a pirate. However, right, um, yeah. these guys, I, th I feel like have done something wrong here. Yeah, like pirate, they they're pirating. Fair, fair enough, pirating like 3DS games. There's nowhere to buy them officially now. Nintendo's not making any money off you buying off eBay. You might as well pirate. Nintendo them. knows you know, this you know, pirate, as well. You know, pirate old games. You know, like like you know, retro games that you can run on emulators. That's fine, right? That's well, fine. like, but the Switch is like still like a. It's the latest Nintendo console. Oh yeah, so this you're is on, all you're highly illegal. Ice. So if yeah. you if you're like pirating Nintendo Switch stuff. You're basically playing with fire. At that oh, point. this is this is highly illegal. I need to point out here that modded hardware, these groups, uh, these are not legal groups. These are all illegal groups. So this is all crime happening. So, I mean, Nintendo are right to do this. So there's no, there's no, I mean, there's nothing really to say apart from these people are committing crimes uh, and Nintendo are going to do what they do. But I bet you that Nintendo are not going to let this slide nicely. They They're going to really hit these people. And this is what I find stupid, right? If you're going to do crime against any company, just don't be Nintendo, right? Not, yeah. I'm not I'm not saying any crime is good. I'm just saying if you're a criminal listening to this, then please just be wise as a criminal. And don't don't, 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 yeah, don't, don't, do, don't do, this. do this to Nintendo. Because like, Nintendo like, will ruin your life, as we've I mean, already seen. Look, at, look, it seems that every single month, we see another Nintendo files a lawsuit. I mean, yeah, this Nintendo Why is there so like... many people trying to hack and pirate Nintendo games? Yes, we get their fun, but like the risk that it's not, it is highly illegal, right? And I, I don't know, I don't know about you, Ron, but I just get the feeling that a lot of people just don't like the company of Nintendo, so they're trying the... to just make their own money yeah. off it without paying the I company. I think as well. I think as well, it's the buzz that you get from pirating games. Because like when I when I first when I was a kid, 
mm. and I pirated a game for the first time, I felt like the king of the fucking world. I was like, yeah, you wow. feel very. I was like, very... I've got this game for free. Everyone else has to pay for it. Look at me, right? But yeah. I think that they've taken that to the next level. They're like, oh, you look at us. We're getting like I, I think where they've mm. nailed. The, I think um, where they've basically sealed their fate, where they've put the nail in their own coffin, is they've said, um, basically. Basically saying, oh yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm bragging. I'm a pirate. I'm not going to give Nintendo fifty dollars for a game. That's where they've sealed their fate. That's Do they not know what Gary happened to Gary Bowser? It's like they're stupid. They're dumb, right? They're dumb enough to make you know an illegal mistake of being illegal anyway, being a criminal. But they are also dumb enough to like stand there and think they can they can just say that like I'm a pirate. Look at me, oh, army arty, mate. You're army not that arty, cool. Yeah. Like, like, and also. This is highly illegal as well. Like, like I pirate games. I did in the past. Uh, not good. I did it for the 3DS. Um, not going to say yeah. too much else. We've all been a bit naughty. We're all human here, right? I'm not involved in any highly organised criminal uh, organisations when it comes to Nintendo uh, gaming. But I do know for a fact that it's a very risky job because I, 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 I think I, I thought this right. This is. Almost exactly the same as what Gary Bowser was running, because Gary, Gary Bowser was running this this like you know organization. He's selling hack switches like that. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So this is almost similar, exactly the same. I I thought that when that came to light, when Nintendo got people with guns around his house, pointing it to his head, uh, making him alone pay over twenty million dollars in charges, right? Why hasn't the illegal operations that are still active and going under the radar been like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop now. We better we better pack up our bags and leave now. You know, but they carry on doing it and then look, Yuzu gets sued. These other emulators get sued. Nintendo are just going bam, 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 I mean, bam, I'm bam, that... bam. They're knocking everyone down. So why aren't you stopping? Like... My question is, how long's this been going on? Because if it's been going on a long time, I'm surprised how they've gotten away with it for this long. That's just crime, isn't it? I, I bet you... They've got a... Yeah. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, wait, hold on. One second. Yeah, yeah. They've got the first guy... Mm. Yeah, one of the second guy. They've got a subreddit called r slash switch pirates. Like, it's got to be private. Expect? It's got to be a private, like, It's got 190,000 members. Are yeah. you telling me that's all private? I'm pretty sure that's a public search. Wait, let me... Let me nah. I'm sorry, I'm just going to do a quick Google search. Wait. All right. Oh, no, he's, he's going to join. He's going to join the private Rich. community. Pirates. Wait, I want to see. I want to see. I'm R guessing this is private. Surely, it's a private thread. No, you have to get an invite. Join it. Judah. Judah. No. Send me it. Judah, send me it now. Send me it now. link on Discord. I'll have a look at after this you episode. Can literally, there's a button that says join. You can join r slash switch pirates. It's a, it's a subreddit that they're running. What? And are there people saying, oh, shit, we've been caught in there? I don't know. I mean, probably. <laughs> that is insane. Okay, look. Okay, that's this stupidity here as well. Like, are they dumb? Look, oh, at, this, look at this. Look, one person five hours ago. Only Android distro is safe from bans. Hi, all. If I understand the FAQ is right, if I only install an Android distro, it's almost impossible to get banned. Look, they're trying to ban evade. They're are all they... this little community going, oh, yeah, we're not. Yeah, they're, they're, they're... Right, listen up, right? If you're part of this community, right, this is a Nintendo podcast, so I bet, I bet if we've got a lot of listeners here. So if, if one of you guys is part of this community, you better get leave right now, because right? this isn't cool. Yeah. Like, you're going to get, you're gonna mean, get smacked I... in the arse. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, these are all people, though. This is a subreddit for people to share, like, I don't their, get like, that. pirating, I don't pirating get that. methods. And How it's got is that? 200,000 members almost. I mean, I know, like, I know I've been, I've had my fair share of experience with shady Discord servers, but you get an invite and you slowly get in and you know about these big shady communities. But that, this is a whole new level of out in the open for you to find. Yeah. I it's, mean, and it's public as well. It's not even private, so anyone can join it. That's so weird. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they were honestly thinking. Like, do honestly, they, they yeah. Learned from the Gary Bowser situation. That's what I mean. I just don't. I, my honest opinions are: this is highly illegal. They shouldn't be doing this. Buy the games. Yeah. So this is like not. This is illegal. Don't be a criminal. And number two, the risk is not worth it when it comes to Nintendo. Like, if anything, pirate PlayStation games. I don't know. Do something that's not Nintendo because Nintendo are a reputation of being nasty. Like, what's yeah. going on here? And also, I don't know. What, what's your What's your entire take on this for we? I mean, on. I agree with you. Like, honestly, like yeah. pirating any company's wrong, but Nintendo's gonna like ruin your life. Oh yeah, I mean, I bet the, 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 the head of the CEO of Nintendo, what's his name, Shintaro Fukurawa, he's just like pissed off. He's like, you know what? Let's just sue everyone in in the entire criminal world. You know, fuck them, fuck them. 
You're just having a bad I mean, yeah. day. He's I mean, like, I feel oh, like, like if you hacked, if you, again. I, feel, I, feel, I feel like if you, don't get me wrong, but I feel like if you pirated, um, let's say, a PlayStation game or an Xbox game, mm. they would still be mad and they'd still like, you know, get like get you in trouble, but not to the extent that Nintendo do. Oh no, Nintendo they are they, they just like, brutal. Really, like, bro. like I feel bad for Gary Bowser. Like Gary, like, Gary Bowser is like basically slave to Nintendo for the rest of his life. Why aren't they getting the treatment he's getting as well? Why are they just getting like? Well, they getting? I don't, I don't know. That, We're gonna dude, find out. Like, We're gonna get an update, obviously. Yeah, I think it, the, it's only just started, so the, the court the court cases haven't finished yet. So I'm assuming we'll when they keep finish, you updated, we'll get some information about it. But again, yeah, yeah. I don't know what these guys were thinking. I don't know how they thought they'd get away with this. I don't um, either. We'll keep you guys I mean, they, updated. They've called their Reddit. They've called their Reddit Switch Pirates. Like, can you not make it any more obvious? <laughs> Army Arties, we have the Switch Pirate. Like, are you dumb? Like, are you actually stupid and mentally retarded in the head? Like, you... <laughs> makes no right, sense. Yeah, I think we need. I think we need an ad break. I we need, uh, need an ad break. It's time to go to the ads. Yeah, to, to cure us of our pain. Sorry to interrupt the episode. I'm Rowan Fern, the co-host of this podcast. If you're a regular listener to our podcast, you would know that me and Judah love to hear from our community. Every single week, we read out your comments and questions on the podcast. One viewer wrote in telling us how they found their wife directly through the popular 3DS game, Pokemon X. Bloody hell, you don't hear that every day. You can become that viewer by writing into our podcast email, jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. That is jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. I know all of you hate ads, so on with the show. And we are back from the ad break. Rowan, there is something in the announcements tab this week before we head on to question of the week. Interesting stuff. Uh, so, announcements uh, this week, because I'm reading out the question. Rowan, why don't you read out the announcement that's been put in? Mm. What's been put I in? Think, the so, the announcement is new art coming soon. Now, yes. do you want to explain why there's new art coming soon? Or I'll, well, I'll explain. I'll explain my part, basically. Yeah, you do it. You explain. Like, it's kind of your bit, thing. Th- yeah, for a bit, we've had, like... For a, for a short, like, period of time, mainly. It was, like... Um, I'll go over the whole thing. So, at first, yeah, yeah, when we on. first made the podcast, we mm-hmm. did, like, the little pop figures, right? We did. Uh, so, we had me and you. And then we updated the pop figures to, like, you know, our, update our appearances. Then, after that, we, yeah. which, we changed it to the current one, which is the real-life you... And an anime me, right? Yeah. But now I've updated my um, YouTube uh, profile picture. If you've not seen it yet, mm-hmm. just go to my YouTube channel. Um, and you can see me in animated form. But it's like my proper face. It's not like an yeah. anime man. So I th- I'm assuming we're going to change my... Like, you know, we're going to change the art. We're going to change your art as well. Because you said you weren't happy with your hairstyle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it, how I mean, I look. Because you don't like you don't you don't like the haystack, do you? <laughs> I don't. That's that their their, their hairstyle's far gone. Uh, it's now just back to my normal undercut style. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, think, yeah. I think, I think you should stick with the undercut because, like, the, oh, the yeah. haystack. You know, like, it, it's a bit yeah. messy. It's a bit like got out of bed this morning. Nothing. Cut. I mean, look. Some people liked it, but some people didn't. It's like, but most people. I, I mean, I just have this. I personally think this suits me. The normal yeah, yeah, slip yeah. back. That's my corner kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I guess yeah, we're going to be updating the podcast art again. I like the evolution of the podcast art. Like we've gone from Funko Pops. And now we're yeah. going to. Yeah, I mean, I'm real... glad we changed from the Funko Pops because the Funko Pops like mm. made us look a bit unprofessional. I mean, it brings us more. It brings more personality, I think, to the podcast to see the faces of the people. And yeah. Rowan is kind of. He's, everyone's saying do face reveal, but he's practically already done it. <laughs> like he's on. Yeah, yeah. I've already done it, and yeah. my profile picture is literally me in animated form. So you, like, that's pretty yeah. much what I look like. And as well, like I can't if they if they're talking about like oh reveal your faces in. Mm. Put your video on when you do podcast. I ain't got. He can't. Webcam. He I puts can't. on camera. Oh shit! There's I enough. need to find. Yeah. Uh, basically, guys, what I want right is my what my dream setup is basically for like my recording is um camera like a proper like clip on camera that you clip onto your um like the top of your monitor, which is yeah. what Judah's got. So I basically yeah. want like a similar one to that. Um, yeah. Microphone is all right at the minute. I've got a headset mic that pr- that's pretty good. It sounds. Oh pretty yeah, good, so it's very really good quality. The mic and um. The last thing would be, I mean, I know this isn't necessary. You've said this isn't necessary, but I personally want a green screen because yeah, it's, yeah. To, I mean, isn't it? Isn't it it's up to you? And plus, in stream and stream, because you said I, I, I personally prefer a background, but I'm just mm. gonna get a green screen because I think it would like. I wish I could do a background, but like where my desk is, it's very hard. So yeah, I mean, I think that pretty well. I mean, I've actually the good thing about me. I don't know if you ever do this, but I have my room rearranged and I 
had like before my room how the room layout was before i wasn't a youtuber or a content creator at the time so everything was not set up but I when i rearranged my videos room, in that in that thing in that bit yeah i said some but it wasn't right i didn't like it but now where my room was now redone repainted i've actually rearranged it with a youtube mindset i'm gonna have my own studio and i've set up this entire part of my room just for youtube so this is the area of my room where it's just for youtube so it's got the entire shelf dedicated to it the camera, the posters, everything, the PC, the desk. I mean, you guys can't see the rest of the room, but this is this is the YouTube. This is this is where I go to work. It's like this when I'm in, when I'm in this chair in front of my PC. Uh, for the video listeners, you can see everything going on. There's actually more sections. I've got a Japan section up there with soju and things. I've got more stuff going on, but you can't see them. Uh, but it's like when I'm in this chair, it's like I'm on my work. I'm working. Like I'm doing my work. My yeah, my, playing yeah. Roblox. Yeah, I'm I'm working playing right. I'm as in no, the podcast is considered that's what I work to do. I work as a content creator, so that's what I'm doing. I'm working yeah. here, and then if I'm on the bed, that's my relaxation. I'm no longer in work mode. I've got the TV on. I put the TV. I'd say on. I'd say you can switch yeah. out of work mode even at the desk though, because like you're not working, oh, yeah. you're playing like games and stuff. Oh yeah, like, like I'm, I'm I'm more alert. I'm like right, I'm 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 on work mode. This is where I game as well. Obviously, this is my PC. But like if I really want to relax and just get off everything, get off Discord, get off all of that, I just go pop over the desk, jump onto the bed, turn the TV on, relax. Like when you say pop over the desk, you don't mean you leap over it. You no, mean, no, God it. no. I don't. I don't. Right, let's go for a map. No, that would be disaster. Like I'll break yeah. the PC. I well, actually, yeah, but... yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, mean, I was to say though, Matt came around my house, and we did the deadly mistake of having a fight in my room, like oh, a physical for fight. Sake. Yeah, and um, Dude, that's I, not a good idea when there's electronics in the room. I said that to him, but Matt, you know what Matt's like? He's like, right, we're gonna fight, and we ended up yeah, fighting. I mean, Matt, yeah, Matt, like I, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a pretty, you know, good guy. He's pretty. He's well managed. He's, he's got his, he's got his wits about him, but sometimes <laughs> so there's some, there's some of this. Stuff you tell me, he's just off the rails a bit. He is. He's off the rails, Matt. We we love him, but he's an off the rails chap. So when we have a fight, it goes proper boy fight. I ended right. up. I ended up. He ended up. Pin, he ended up getting me back because I I, like, I was trying to fight without yeah, like proper like fists. Oh no! Like, it was like, it was like, like a wrestle. Yeah, yeah, I was actually trying to punch each other. But like we were in this fight, and I was trying to fight. Then. Kudos to me. I was trying to fight as well as not knock everything over. I was like, right, I've got to watch the yeah, tank. You were like looking I've round got, constantly. Yeah, I'm like, right, I'm like looking around. Well, he's going full force. What? Right, let's batter him. I'm like, right. I'm trying to avoid the piece. I'm like, I'm like, careful, mate, careful. And he end up, he ends up getting me down. I'm like, right. I'm like, can we stop? And he goes, no, we're gonna carry on. I was like, no, 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 can we stop? He's like, no, no, we're gonna carry wait, on. I was what? like, wait, mate, why? Sorry, did you knock like, the desk or something? Oh yeah, because no, he had me pinned down, and I wanted to. If I wanted to, and I'm not saying this like a sore loser, I could have literally thrown him off and then put him down, but I couldn't do that. Because if I did throw him off, I would have hit the PC, the monitor, and everything would have gone flying. And that's exactly what happened, because that naughty boy, and it's fine, but we're all good. But yeah, we, we got he got a bit overexcited, and we were fighting. He's, I'm told, I've told him four times to get off me. But he didn't know I was being serious because we were laughing. He thought I was just joking. He was like, no, I've got you here down. I'm like, no, just let you actually let me up. And then eventually I got exasperated and I pushed him so hard and the entire desk went flying. The PC went flying. The monitor went flying. The webcam went flying. My juice went flying. It was a shit show. Uh, and uh, and then my PC started making a weird noise, and that was really a bad day. Because then for the rest of the day, we had to like take apart the PC and build it all again. And wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Build it again. We didn't build it. We had to take the fans out because we had jerked the main motherboard, which is never a good sign. Oh, the motherboard no, had no, moved. No. The yeah, motherboard so had... is like the, the basically the heart, like the we're well, not the heart, but it's like the the structure yeah. of the, like you need the motherboard to like. I like, mean, I put my hands in the air. That wasn't my fault. That was his fault. He was a stupid idiot. Hang on, wait. So you knocked, <laughs> knocked the, yeah. you knocked the desk? Did you knock the desk? Because if the desk got if knocked, you, yeah, and the PC you, had, moved, yeah. Because if he had you pinned down, there's no way you could have like reached the the PC. Exactly. So I then I then I just gave up and was like, Vroom, and then pushed like we both went flying into the desk. So the way did it fall forwards the PC? The the entire everything went flying forwards. Yeah. So you were lucky. Well, you were lucky there. Oh like, yeah, like, I was really. Like, I was I was pissed off. I was like, right. I was like, that was bad. And like, yeah. And he was and he immediately comes like, oh sorry, shit. I shouldn't have done that. And you know, it's just what, why did okay, yeah. okay. There's one my one question, right? Mm. Why did you why did you feel like because you're like your room's like my room. There's not like as much. There's not like 
that much yeah. space to like you know like especially wrestle so why did you f do it in your room why didn't you just I don't go know. outside it wasn't my fault it was Matt he was like bro, bro we've got to fight we've got to fight I was like no we've not why got to fight why didn't you just say let's take this outside then I did but he was like no no don't want to do it outside I was like why he's like oh don't want to get you don't do it outside I, was like, why? I don't know <laughs> It's just Matt. Matt is Matt, and that we've learned from that. Well, he's learned from that. That wasn't my fault. I told him we're not doing that every. If you do that again, I'm probably gonna knuckle knuckle bounce you out the room. This is my PC room. Anyway, yeah, wow. that, that was that. Wow. That we, we actually had like a, a full blown argument about it because I was like telling him you shouldn't have done that, and he was like, okay. I mean, you were no. I, I, he was like, you were giving up. I wasn't giving up. I said I couldn't fight in my room with all that stuff. But yeah, Matt is Matt. And well, uh, yeah, that's the yeah. announcements. Yeah, that's the announcement. Anyway, <laughs> well, yeah, the um, art. The art's getting updated. And that's on my... I'm, I'm doing it. Mr. Graphic cool. Designer. I'm doing the that's art. pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, we've got the... You want to read out the this week's question? It's not really yeah. a question, but... Um, compliment of the week. You know, I, we do get compliments, and I decided to read a compliment out. Uh, someone's been quite nice. And it, and I guess it's kind of like a question as well, which we'll address. Anyway, so it's from Francis this week. Francis says... Hey, the JR's Gaming Podcast team. Of course, this, the team has received it and then we're reading it out. Uh, I love what you guys are doing in, in the space. Your blend of insightful Nintendo theories and delightful British banter makes JR's Gaming channel a must-listen for any gaming enthusiast. Any gaming enthusiast. I found this contact from your podcast's RSS feed and wanted to reach out. Would this be the best way to reach you? Best, Francis. Yes, Francis, this is the best way to reach us. You've you've reached us. You've made it to the podcast. Uh, you've it, reached us, yes. You've reached us. Just, yeah, I mean, I do, I've noticed, I've had a look around, I've topped in our podcast. We're so, we're on so many different platforms now. There's different options. Like, you can actually, like, there's so many different contact options there's the manual option, which is just to copy our email into your email listener. Just just go JR's Gaming Podcast one three five at gmail dot com. That's all it is, no caps. Just JR's Gaming Podcast one long you know, sentence one three five at the gmail dot com, and it's in the description below. Uh, so, but there are options where you can just press contact, as I think Francis has done. It like lets it sends it automatically to our email. But yeah, um, that is the best way to contact us. Thank you very much for the compliment there. Yeah, Ryan, anything you want to say to Francis? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you've done the right thing, clearly, because you've reached us. I mean, we, we get we get a lot of emails, to be fair. So, we do, you know, yeah. that you've obviously done it the right way, because um, it's, mm. no, you know, it's not a guarantee that your question will get picked out. So you, Yeah, because we get a lot of emails being a public email podcast. We get so many weird ones. We also get emails asking us to claim a dead relative's money, but we won't go into that. We yeah, we get there's so many scam emails. I've noticed that. But, I mean, not is we actually we actually get people that listen to the podcast and they like right, we can scam these people. And they're like, they'll be like, they'll try and get. You know, I've had I've had people try and market their podcasting website to us. So people have contacted oh, us and been like, can you come on to? Can you put our podcast on our website? And I'm like okay but what 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 is this about show me the website and they're like okay here's the website and they're like okay what's the catch why why are you starting this why are you in contacting me and Rowan what's to the do website this? about though like when you go to it oh it's happened three times it's just different names like wave or something i don't know something silly and they're like they, but like, you've got to pay us money they're like you've got to pay us money wait, 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 pause, put your pause. podcast so on we've it. got to pay them money to mm. have our podcast on their website sure yeah and their website the doesn't exist it's a scam yeah. yeah, but surely that's not how it. It, no, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, they should pay. Up, they should pay yeah, us if they want to. If you, have a, web, if you have a website and you're like, yeah. oh, I want to feature this. Po if yeah, if you have a website and you're like, oh, I want to feature this podcast on our website. Yeah. You reach out to them and you say, listen, we'll pay you to like if we can feature your podcast on our website. It's, it's, it's the opposite way around. So it's like, right, I've made a new website. That's so stupid. Come on, it's it, pay true. us. That's so stupid. Yeah, I've just I've literally had to email them, and be like, no, sorry, no, no. I mean, uh, I, but... I should email. I should. I should email. Um, I should email. I should start sending some emails. And we joked yesterday, didn't we, about um, getting <laughs> Master Uwe on the podcast? Oh no! If he gets on this podcast, oh mate, we'd have to say we'd have to. We'll we we get cancelled. Yeah, if we got if we got Master Ugo on for an interview, we'd have to say right, Master Ugo, no N words, no, <laughs> no, no, none of that, none about. of your stuff. Just, just the theory of why you got banned. Too fair. I like, mean... I'd love to hear his side of the story though, because he's not put it out. Like I mean, I, I don't think we're going to land an interview with him, but if we do, that'll be an yeah, interesting be episode. Yeah, I mean, I, what, what, what I, don't, I, think, I know he's been banned from YouTube, so it'll be interesting to see if he, he manages to get on. I mean, you're going to email him, aren't you? Just for I'm a joke. I'm going to try. I'll also message him on Instagram. Yeah, why not? Yeah, a try. Get him on the podcast. Get Master yeah. Uguay on. 
Yeah, if you're listening to this and you've made it this far, send this clip to Master Ubu. Send this clip himself. to Master Ubu. Get this clip viral. A- at this. him on Twitter and send at it to him. Clip. Get him this. Get him this. Master Ubu, come on our podcast. We can, you can tell us the real reason as to why you were banned. Anyway, uh, that's that's it for today's episode. Uh, thanks, Francis, for writing in. Uh, very much appreciated. I'm sure next week will be even better when I come back with my stupid camping stories. Uh, yeah. So wait, will it? It won't be next week, will it? I thought you said will... next week is. Me and Eli, or something. It'll either be you and Eli or me and you. Let's find out. Okay. okay. Whenever I'm back, you'll hear my camping stories. Anyway, we'll until we'll, then... We'll, we'll love to hear that. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it'll be entertainment for you guys, but not me. Well, I'm going through it. Well, anyway, please send in your questions and comments like Francis has done to jrsgaming135 at gmail.com. Uh, please subscribe or follow us on whatever platform you're listening from and leave us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Again, wherever you're listening, listening from, give us that five-star rating as this will help us out greatly and get the podcast around. Our socials will be in the description below in our private YouTube channels, our podcast YouTube channel, our Instagram, Twitter website, and our Discord server. We can speak to me, Rowan, and the team, yep. and everyone else. Uh, but yeah, until then, it's a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me. And it's Christmas in 174 days. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Santa, go home. Mm-hmm.